we're live. All right. Sorry for the delay. It was, uh, I don't know why my laptop, I always do this weird thing with the live. It doesn't like to be live, apparently. So we Probably are here. We go live on Instagram too to send people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're I, still learning everything. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit more challenging than I was expecting. It's yeah. called technology, I guess. Huh? <laughs> Let's see. Can we do mine too? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Live now. All right. I'm back because didn't work as was supposed to. So now <laughs> I'm live for real on YouTube. So if you want to know questions about the canteen, it's now because, I mean, it's everyone think the quarantine is like amazing and we show the pictures and the video on instagram and the stories but it's actually a lot more complicated than that because we cannot go on land uh we barely have food especially veggies and stuff we have to eat rice a lot and kill a fish to survive basically so it's pretty intense yep so if you want to hear about quarantine in the bahamas and have us answer your questions about what it's like living on a sailboat david's on his sailboat i'm on my sailboat and we're trying to survive here when everything else is shut down so i will type it in the comments right now it's youtube.com slash david langwa so I'll type it in the comments, jump on over to YouTube Live, and I will talk to you guys all there. You guys can ask us all the questions, and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Hope everybody's safe and healthy, and we'll talk to you soon on YouTube. <laughs> all right. Let me tap just in case. Thanks, guys. See so, you all very soon. Here's the link. And remember, you can ask anything, uh, mainly about the quarantine. But if you have other questions, just, yeah, ask. No worries. Ciao. See you soon. Right. We're learning. All right. So, <laughs> cool. We have people here. Hi. Thanks for coming over, guys. Um, <laughs> we get to lay in the sun a lot. <laughs> actually less than we wish <laughs> there's not too much laying in the sun there's a lot of working in the sun so we get sun by working on the boat doing laundry um going spear fishing but it's not your typical like lay on a towel and get a tan yeah um there's so much to do like before i arrive in the bahamas and do this life actually i had books i had like so many like i got a, a ukulele, to a ukulele <laughs> all this stuff and how many then, times have you played it exactly <laughs> i don't have even time to think about it like when the bro the boat is working well then i need to hunt for my surviving or do the laundry by hand which takes like forever. forever and yeah so every time you can think about you do in your normal day like even bring taking the garbage to the garbage can for <laughs> us it's like a mission like yeah. we need to put it in the dinghy find somewhere where they actually has a bin that we can throw that out find somewhere that we can actually pull over with a dinghy and yeah sometimes we can be stuck with the trash for, <laughs> for like time. weeks so yeah there's a lot um but it's it's amazing i mean we live we live like a pretty cool life but it's just make it a little bit challenging everything <laughs> how do you not get on each other's nerves um we do get it on each other's nerves <laughs> yeah it's a lot of breathing technique i think <laughs> related to the, the free diving. Free diving. we're both free dive instructors we just take deep breaths and hold it until the nerves pass um no in all honesty we all get along really really well um and yeah i i don't know it we're we get along well. There's not much to argue about. I mean, we're living in a situation where it's an extreme. So everything's an extreme. Um, when good things are going well, it's extremely good. When things are bad, it's extremely bad. But we understand so well what the other person's going through. So when people are having their moments, like with David, you just give him food and like <laughs> 10 minutes and then it's the problem true. solved. For me, you give me chocolate and wine and a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's really interesting, and also the the main thing with their team is we all know that we want the best for each other. So if she responds or she, she does something, I 
and I want to say something bad, but I think I'm like, okay, I know she's kind, she liked me and she doesn't mean it. So then I come down and I ask her what is her actual intention, which I know it's not bad. And usually everything gets fixed. Yeah, a lot of communication. I mean, yeah. we don't really have much else to do besides talk to each other. So. Well, we speak for two other people, right? Yeah. Because we are four total in her team usually. And now my niece is on board and another of my friend. Hi, niece. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so there's four of us in the, the squad. And then we have his niece and another friend on board. Um, so a lot of personalities go into play. Yeah. We are not together, just more comfortable, by the way. <laughs> Everybody case. thinks we're in a relationship. There's nothing between you no, and I. Never, just, nothing just, happened. Just never. Odd sometimes. <laughs> um, what kind of change, change repairs thing. happen on the boat, basically? Um, you start. <laughs> hmm, where to start? Well, there's a gener general maintenance to do on the boat. And then there's what things break that you're not expecting to break. And it's often a surprise and often where it's not the time to break that is break. So it's kind of challenging. And this is why I think not everyone can live this life because it's not stressful. But when, like she said, something goes bad, things can go really bad. And the other thing is we are remote on remote island. So if something breaks, we don't have anything. We just need to like find out how to fix it. So it's another challenge yeah. especially that we are not engineer we just do our best around here right yeah. and there's no engineer anywhere in the bahamas basically so well and to make matters worse like we're on a pretty remote island right now so supplies are limited as it is but now everything's on lockdown here in the bahamas so yeah. we are very much quarantined to our boat we're not allowed on shore even if we were nothing is open um even to get groceries we're able to get groceries about once every two weeks and it's super limited and they bring them to the dock for us. We can't even go to land for that. So uh, you learn how to work with what you have and make things work and get creative and think outside the box. But yeah. in terms of repairs and projects, it's never ending. Um, it's, yeah, it's for, for example, our prop on the, mm -hmm. the dinghy broke like, last week and we ran all over like call everywhere to get a prop yeah. and it took forever and when we got it well we got three and two was in the right side couldn't fit and they were all old obviously and the one could fit the guy sold it to us like a crazy price and was broken yeah. but less broken than the other one yeah. so <laughs> we went with the less broken one yeah which is still broken and but... the price from a brand new one but yeah. i mean they know we're stuck and so they kind of yeah, take the advantage of us a little bit. They think like because we're on a boat, we're super rich, but it's actually totally opposite. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially right now, like yeah. we try to be positive and find solution for everything, but we can. I don't think we would be able to to deal like this forever with no. the quarantine. Like we might be at some point losing everything us too, you know. Yeah. So this is things that you don't see in the story, but. It's pretty pretty stressful for us. And this is why also we did like Patreon and this YouTube channel. This was in my mind, I wanted to do it. I already had videos made or, you know, I was ready to do it because I like doing it and I like inspiring people. But now we kind of need that more than ever with this quarantine um, because I don't have anything anymore. I sold everything. So if I lose my boat, I lose everything, basically. Well, and, and we were really hoping to come over here and invite people on our boats and do charters and adventures and spearfishing and photography and take you to see everything the Bahamas has to offer. And then the borders closed down. So we can't teach free diving. We can't do trips. Uh, we have no form of income. So it is getting tight. And that's why we do a lot of spearfishing for our food. But we're making it work. Yeah. We just need to be strong, to stay strong, be positive, and yeah. find a lot of solutions. <laughs> yeah, get creative. So we're really hoping you guys like what we put on here, and we're open to any suggestions. Keep asking questions. Yeah. That's what we're here for. We want to share you, give you an insight onto how we're living right now. How old is the boat you bought? Mm. Um, well, mine is actually a 98, which is the best year of this kind this brand which is Oceanus and this is the best monohole I've been selling with 
in the past. So I really, really like this boat. This is what I wanted. This is what I got. So I'm really happy with it. It's an amazing boat. Well, you can sell it a bit. Yeah. And also in the in one of the video, I think the second video, you can see a quick inside tour of the boat. So you can check it out. It's I, I love it personally. And her boat is my boat is a 2001 Fountain Peugeot 46 foot catamaran. So they're about the same size, but mine has two hulls and uh it's the first boat i've ever owned ever bought and i absolutely love it oh well um favorite way to cook fish yeah <laughs> uh that's a good question it really depends the fish and how much fish did i eat because sometimes like i said we are in remote islands and i eat fish a lot like almost for breakfast <laughs> <laughs> i i don't even like to cook the fish i like <laughs> i like sushi and sashimi so it takes very minimal effort just fillet and eat um but yeah yeah i like it grilled most of the time it's pretty good with uh, season sometimes I, I leave it marinate and when i'm really tired of it i make it fry like most of the bohemian do <laughs> um so. do you have a lot of time for pina coladas and rum punch <laughs> <laughs> not really to be honest <laughs> especially with the the lifestyle well i will talk for myself but all of us i think are on the same page we don't really have time to drink that much because we are so active and so committed of what we do and also it's like an hazard to add an hazard in what we do like even if we want to move the boat from somewhere to another place right now we think okay if it's break or what can happen because we cannot get any part uh no help from anywhere so if things goes wrong like she said things go really wrong so we need to think about every movement we know we do in general but now it's more than ever it's, yeah yeah it's yeah, yeah and david, david's the captain on his boat and i'm the captain on my boat so at the end of the day it's our responsibility to keep everybody on board safe because it's yeah. not just the two of us like it's not just him on his boat and me on my boat he has a crew i have a crew and so there yeah neither of us i mean even less for him i'll have a glass of wine every now and then at night but that's about it for the cocktails we try to live a pretty healthy lifestyle because at the end of the day we really like staying active and diving and drinking really impacts that negatively so it's not our thing but we do have virgin pina coladas a lot and yeah. those are delicious <laughs> <laughs> yeah homemade homemade so um, good yeah if you have any suggestion uh, of uh, like a really good recipes let us know in yeah. the comment because we are open to it yeah very open <laughs> <laughs> need to be simple we don't have a lot Super. of stuff we have coconut, the coconut. <laughs> i was gonna say hopefully it involves coconut <laughs> um go ahead uh favorite way to cook fish david i looked at your website looking forward to booking a solo traveler trip so yeah maybe talk about solar traveler traveler Oh, is it? Ah, awesome. Yeah, that's that is amazing. Soul Traveler, basically, like I, like she said, we like sharing our life, our passion. And this is why we decide, both of us doing like charter on each boat. And Soul Traveler, from, for me, well, for us, it's kind of, um, I really speak like we're a couple. I don't want to yeah, speak like that. It's I know, so somebody just said, how long before the two of you start dating? Yeah. It's just weird because we're like, in close quarters and we're basically living together and i have so much love for david but we just will, would never be compatible in a relationship and um it's a really really good friendship it's beyond a friendship because we dive together so we always have each other's backs literally put each other's lives and it's a lot of trust it's a lot of trust especially so, with sharks around yeah yeah sharks and diving deep and yeah so when i say we let's say it's not only her it's all of us the four of us there's two more people they're yeah. normally like right here yeah, a bahamian and a frenchie right here <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so traveler basically it's a good opportunity to to afford this travel since you will be sharing the cost with three other people and you will meet amazing people because i mean it's always great to meet people who have an open mind and want to experience this kind of trip because i mean it's really unusual. It's not like a resort or anything. It's basically like you have a boat in the Bahamas with people who knows the Bahamas like almost perfectly yeah. and enjoy to do everything in the Bahamas and the, it's their passion. So I think it's it's a really good opportunity for a solo traveler yeah. and a unique experience yeah. and probably the best trip 
in his life. Yeah. And it's our goal too, to help people check off their bucket list. So we can take you to do so many things. If you want to learn to sail, swim with sharks, learn how to spearfish, swim with turtles, stingrays, go see the pigs, just drink a pina colada on the beach, um, learn to free dive and hold your breath. Uh, Cliff jump, go to see grottos, have a bonfire on the beach. There's so many. Have things. marshmallows on the beach. <laughs> oh my god, we have first story with that one. Um, there's so much to do here, and we can customize a trip specifically for you or for whatever group you have. Whatever you want to do, the water is always perfectly clear, super warm, sunny, tropical, beautiful. Um, yeah, I both of us, Bahamas, we've that. traveled all around the world separately, and both of us agree there's there's no place like the Bahamas. Yeah, it's it's amazing for I mean in both life it's pretty good. Um, also, someone is looking forward. Alexon Alexander looking forward it's, to get a lesson. Is it in French, it's Alexander. Alexander, yeah. Uh, Alexander in French. <laughs> Anyways, uh, looking forward to get the lessons. Absolutely. Well, we're thinking to do like videos uh, about freediving. Yeah. And uh, on Patreon, so you guys can actually book from there. Well, look the video from there and whatever videos you're going to look at is going to give you a, how you say that in English? Like a lesson? Yes, a lesson. <laughs> but also like um, the thing you won't be, you have less charge for the course. Oh yeah, a discount. You, discount. Yeah, so we're there basically going to do all of the theory, the physiology, psychology, the physics of free diving and give you. But a pretty cool one, like not like a boring. Not boring at all. And you can actually start practicing breath holding and see how high you can get your breath hold up to. And then when the quarantine ends and the borders open, you can fly and do a trip with, with David on his boat, with me combined, depending on how many people you guys have. And we'll give you a discount off of your trip price. So we're really looking forward to that. Check it out on his Patreon coming up sooner than later we just have yeah. to make the content we we honestly i'm editing like almost every day like crazy right now because i have a lot to to catch up with all the videos and also we are working on other project plus that one so I'm, i can't guarantee you when it's going to be out this lessons but it has to be soon yeah. uh, so many of you ask us to get like lessons like this yeah. and especially now like you are so far away and can't do anything but at least we could like give tips of what you can do in your home even yeah. if you only have a bathtub or a sink yeah. you know and it would improve a lot of yeah. everything and then when you get here then you are already almost a champion you yeah. know you just need to dive and learn how yeah. sharks go well it's cool because 80 percent of free diving is mental maybe even more arguably 90 yeah. percent. so if you can get the mental part down work on your equalization work on your breath hold really visualize the techniques then when you come here you can apply it and day one be hanging out at 50 60 feet and swimming with the sharks and the turtles and having fun and spearfishing so we're really excited i think it's going to be a, a cool program for you to practice yeah definitely and if you have any suggestion just comment in down here yeah and we'll take it in cons consideration for yeah, sure absolutely um, we'll be filming the videos here soon so yeah uh, we are always grateful for every comment and that you there right now. Um, yes. It's really, yeah, thank you. yeah. It means everything to us uh, yeah. to have the support because right now, I mean, even though we're all together, it, it does get pretty lonely. And just to hear from people all over the world with your positive comments and your feedback and what you're looking to see in your support, it means everything to us. Yeah. How long can you hold your breath underwater? Hmm, that's a good question. So holding your breath, there's two different situations where you're holding your breath. One of them is static apnea, where you're floating like you're dead in the water, not doing anything. For that one, my max is four and a half minutes. Mine sure. is five minutes. Okay. And then, but realistically, when we're doing underwater modeling or spear fishing or swimming with sharks, most of my dives are between a minute, a minute 20, a minute and a half maximum. Yeah. Well, I did... I did once like a two minutes 15 or something um but it was like a, like a, an amazing day and i feel really good and everything was great and i would i could in that dive i could move slowly so I, I wasn't rushing like to get the crazy fish and stuff but most of the time when we dive do underwater shots and stuff we are in stress or moving fast and stuff so usually it's around to me it's around one minute 15 let's say yeah less or more 
And usually it's uh, it's enough to do everything you need. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can push it. Like we can go up to yeah. a minute 50 if we really need to, but then your recovery time is longer. Yeah. And it's not worth it because you can do everything usually less than that. And yeah. if you need to push it, well, you still have the flexibility to do so. Yeah. Um, Andrew did it today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, in, in one dive, I shot at a, I picked up a flasher and shot at a fish twice. So <laughs> it can happen. I but missed it twice. It missed it. Well, no, no, no. Missed huh? it once. Oh, okay. But then it ripped off. So. I, 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 and then you couldn't <laughs> find it for me. So. Yeah. I was so <laughs> confident. I go get it. And he's I like, I got it. you, Steph. I got you. And I'm like, I okay, was good. Too quirky on that one. I huh? think that was like a minute 20 dive. Yeah. But so just to give you some perspective, to we dive about a meter a second. So to do a hundred foot dive or a 30 meter dive, it only takes you 30 seconds to get down and 30 seconds to get back up. So for everybody, it's super achievable to dive to a hundred feet, hang out at 50 feet, whatever your goals are. Yeah. It, it doesn't take a massive breath hold. And the beautiful thing is we're not like, we're not different than anybody else. Everybody's born with it. It's just training your mind to understand that your body can do it. Melody, she's, Melody Christiana, she's getting crazy about her, her uh, quarantine. Uh, yeah, well, I hope we send you some light yeah. from here. And I hope you get to Hawaii soon. That's a bummer. So she's yeah. stuck in Galveston. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, thank you. We are hanging in there. I mean, we're, like David said, we're staying super positive. We're staying super busy and just hoping that things will open up soon. And Jib? Jib? Jib. What's the girl's name? What is her channel? Oh, cool. My name's Steph. On Instagram, I'm Freediver Steph, uh, S T E P H. And my YouTube channel is Sail La Vie, S A I L, Sail La Vie. So it's my friend Sabine and I. We bought a catamaran together and we're just basically sailing around with David and he's helping us every time things go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's super helpful. We're brand new to this world. And so it's so nice to have friends who truly are experts and have the experience and the knowledge. So we're really lucky. Yeah, I, I've been doing that for six years now, and I've been captains on the boat, I've been mechanic and whatever, so I I could get a lot of experience, and I still learn every day, I don't know everything, but for now, it's really helpful that I have this knowledge, I would say, and I've been spending a lot of time <laughs> fixing yeah. boats and engines and yeah. <laughs> batteries and solar panel and yeah a lot. owning a boat you have to be a master of everything you yeah. have to be an electrician a plumber an engineer unless you study the marina then you're good yeah well we don't do that or you <laughs> if your boat is a yacht and you have an engineer on yeah that's then you're too. good that's you too. we are not there that's and not i'm not thing. planning to be there because this is not what i'm looking forward no. to personally no um sulek said will you be posting the videos on youtube or would they be for people who book a trip only um, the, the video for the yeah the free diving the video. free diving yeah. um, I'm the free diving this will be for the for the Patreon basically because we will be basically giving giving our course away so yeah it will be on Patreon and it will be a small amount of money to to purchase it and it's gonna help us a lot to survive here to be yeah. honest yeah so it's just Patreon dot com slash David Longla. Yeah, it's uh, the best way to go. But it's basically a site where you can support us and you can uh, purchase the videos for the free diving course, and then we'll give you a discount when you come and do a trip. Yeah, um, but you don't have to buy it and come see us. If you just want to buy it and practice there yeah. or go with someone else, you can do that yeah. too. Yeah, and also every video I post. On YouTube, it's first on Patreon a week before. So if you want to help us out and help, him out, help me out and or see the footage before both, well, you can always go there and see how it is. And um, yeah, and you will also see eventually more videos that it won't never be on YouTube. It will be more personal video and things like that. <laughs> Gib just called me out. Apparently, Sailor is not subscribed to your channel. <laughs> what? Such a shame. So busted. Right. I actually created I David's channel for him. Hmm. So yeah. Well, <laughs> my English isn't perfect, so <laughs> I need someone who writes. Okay, I'll. Don't worry, I'll fix that. I'll be subscribed. Well, honestly, soon. I don't. I don't even know if I am. So I can't really say anything. Yeah, I don't know if you are either. That's a good question. I have to look it up. Wow. Uh <laughs> oh. thanks, Eric. Tristan said to follow you, and you are amazing. 
Thank you. Yeah, he's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody said, Melody said, underwater modeling, that'd be fun to try. Let's talk about that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you like paint. <laughs> <laughs> Underwater modeling, so it sounds luxurious, like, okay, model, and you're underwater in these beautiful locations, and you picture, like, David walking down the beach, looking at all, like, oh, like, doing his modeling. This is not underwater modeling. Yeah. Underwater modeling, a lot of times, you're you're doing exhale diving, so you're diving down, exhaling all of your air out, and holding really weird So positions. your lungs are, like, like this, and you pretend that everything is good. You're like, oh no, this is the best day of my life. And you have to relax your face. And then you have salt water in your eyes and your nose. And then you pull your mask off and your sinuses get flooded. And then you're trying to look normal and not like yeah, that. Basically. <laughs> uh, but what's really cool about underwater modeling is it is super challenging. So when you get an epic shot, it makes it so much more fulfilling because you yeah. work really, really hard for it. But uh, Melody, we'd be happy to teach you some, under, yeah. like if you want to come on a trip, we can do some, we can get some pretty cool photos underwater, um, just what you want to do and teach you the techniques. Because yeah. it is super challenging, really yeah. dangerous and a lot of fun. I personally really like challenge. So this is why I like always going with sharks, doing like underwater modeling with sharks. It's super dangerous, by the way. It like never think to do it by your own if you don't have any experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ev like every time I do it, I kind of accept that something can go yeah. really wrong and whatever things ca can happen, it's my fault. Like the skateboarding um, video and stuff that was super dangerous. And I could like, you cannot see anything basically. So I got bumped a few times with sharks because I had white socks and they think it's a fish because yeah. they don't see well. And yeah, so there's a lot behind the scene that it's... And just to break it down for you, when we say underwater modeling, we're free diving um, pretty much 98% of the time. So the first technique is to learn how to dive. Most of the underwater modeling shots are between 40, 50 feet most of the time. So learn how to hold your breath. Then you're diving with no fins. You're pulling your mask off. You're wearing regular clothes. You're not wearing weights. So learning how to free dive to the extreme and then knowing how to interact with marine wildlife like sharks and knowing how to redirect them and read their behavior. But you're down there time. with no fins, holding your breath without a mask on, trying to read their behavior. So there's a lot of that goes into it. But yeah. Um, if you come out with us, maybe we should do a video on that actually. Yeah. That might be cool. Yeah. Like the inside Definitely. look of uh, underwater modeling. Yeah. I wanted to do a behind the scene of that so yeah. we can explain everything, all a cool shot because yeah. every shot is different. Yeah. I have been different, different risks, different depth, different. Anyways, a lot to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> um, how long took me? Well, spear fishing. Yeah. Um, it took me a while to learn how to spearfish properly because I was by myself when I first arrived. I didn't, I never went in the ocean before, like I said in my previous video. So for me, it was a real big challenge. And also no one was knew this because no one really do it. So especially like five, six years ago. Um, so I didn't even know like free diving was a thing. Like I thought, oh, you go down the water, like it's swimming but there's a lot Very more different. to that so yeah. for me it took a little bit but i could learn everything by myself so keep learning learning and trying it was super dangerous because i was by myself doing all that without knowing anything and nothing about sharks too yeah. so i i managed to connection is please wow we try to reconnect. Okay, we're connected. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared right now about the <laughs> this live. Okay, my computer works great for the record. That's what we're using. But anytime technology sees David, it just like runs away. <laughs> yeah, for real. Especially when it's live for some reason. Anyways, yeah. what what about you for the spear? Oh yeah, fishing? for spear fishing, I did it a little bit. Well. Uh, basically the exact opposite of David. So when I got into the sport, I started diving with some of the best spear fishermen all over the world, some of the best spear fishing guides. So it was pretty easy for me to learn quickly. My learning curve is a lot faster. I'm still learning every single day. I'm still challenging myself to learn the different techniques, but I learned pretty quickly. I was traveling the last like year and a half. I traveled to a different country every month to learn how to spear fish different fish. So I, I did the accelerated version, but you can still miss. I missed a ninja hogfish today. So it, yeah, we miss every day, you know, there's yeah. nothing perfect. And every day is different too, because when you go down, sometimes after a minute, I'm like, oh, geez, I'm dying. What's going on? And sometimes I, I go barely like two minutes without feeling anything. Fine. I'm like, whoa, wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. So it really depends. Um, I'm reading the comment and that's was so funny. Andre, 
<laughs> Andrew must grow up reply like, no, it's cold. I'm always <laughs> gonna be. So our friends, when we say us, the other two are on a boat uh, having dinner right now, the fish that we just caught. So they're just calling us over. Yeah, it's fun. They are watching us. I know. <laughs> this is, we're their entertainment right now. Yeah. So. Basically, well, over there, the light isn't as strong as here. Yeah. So this is why we decided to do it here, basically. Yeah. And it was a lot going on yeah. <laughs> with yeah. all the fish we caught and dinner. and. Uh, but we're here with you guys and keep asking questions. We love this so much. Any questions about our boats, spearfishing, modeling, um, quarantine in the Bahamas, anything you want to know. So Okay, so Gib, I'll watch you underwater modeling while I'm using the scuba tank. So sometimes we will do scuba assist. So sometimes... So it's good because she knows the decompression sickness and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, sometimes when we, like in the 5% of case, when we do the underwater with tank, um, it's super dangerous because, like you know, if something goes wrong and you go up too quick or anything, it's... It can yeah. be really bad for your lungs and, and yeah yeah so Super so yeah when we do this it's uh, it's really challenging and it's under big hazard that everything can happen basically. yeah with the tanks we typically will have you have the photographer you're diving and then you have somebody who's safety and managing your tank for you except when it's me and Andre alone we did the like skateboard shot only me and Andre Andre wow. was filming being my the guy who have to feed me with air. Oh no, actually I had my own tank. I had to find it myself. Okay, yeah. don't do what David <laughs> does. Like everything he says, just do the opposite yeah. of that. And also it's it's in the rule number one of scuba. You can confirm Jip. And free diving. Never never hold your breath oh. when you breathe from a tank. No, never so you never alone. never never supposed to do yeah. that. Put it on the side and hold your breath when you dive. Like it's rule number one. For and yeah. because yeah, it's kind of a hazard of decompression. So imagine we are deep in like 60 feet of water. We do like all our breath for as long as we can. I'm almost like crazy with sharks. And then I can go again. And then, you know, there's a shark going out. Super and then it's super dangerous. Such a hazard. I wouldn't recommend to anyone who like, well, I like my life. But who is not like pretty how about nobody <laughs> i don't recommend yeah. it to anybody and Basically. and so don't hold your breath that's for scuba rule number one for free diving never dive alone these are all rules that david has broken but he's alive and somehow which, so what's really cool too is we went spear fishing today and we were saying on the way home that like back in the dinghy back to the boats <laughs> we were saying that it's really nice to dive with our squad with andre and sabine and david and i because um Everybody is a solid diver, but we are really good at safety in each other. So we can push our dives a little bit longer. We know when we're in a situation. Um, Andre was at the end of his breath hold on a dive. And, and when he shot the fish, I was already on my way down to help him to the surface. So it's just understanding those things. Yeah. Ah, oh, lionfish. What about it? Uh, I recently saw lionfish in Thailand while I was diving. When I saw Steph's story on Instagram, I was surprised. Didn't know you could eat those guys. How do you cook them? Right. That's a good question. Yeah. So David got a really nice one today. Unfortunately, we're still seeing lionfish really regularly over here. Over in Thailand, they're uh, native to that part of the world. But over here, they're invasive. So we don't have any natural predators for them. And they're eating everything and they're destroying our reefs. So anytime we see lionfish, we kill them. Um, we spear them. So my favorite way, it's a new recipe that I just learned for lionfish. I love it. It is um, uh, coconut crusted. By the way, just, just sorry, um, the way to fillet it is basically oh, yeah. the normal way. Like yeah. the poison are only on the on the spikes. So the spines, like, there's spine. um, 13 venomous spines on the back. And then you have a couple that are underneath the belly on the fin. So you have 18 venomous spines. Once you cut those off with scissors, the mm -hmm. fish is totally safe. You can do anything. You can fillet it like normal. So I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, lionfish. It's delicious. Ceviche, grilled, fried. I love ceviche with the lionfish, but yeah. the best. However to you me. want it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Are we going to eat? <laughs> I think we should eat. Yeah? Yeah. I hope they are not waiting for us. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate you to be there with us right now. Yeah. And if you have any other questions about our quarantine, moral of the story is, yes, we're having so much fun and so thankful to be together with our friends. Um, but it is challenging and we're staying positive. And if you're looking for ways to support us, continue to follow us on YouTube and check out David's Patreon site. We'll have some really cool content coming. Thank you again.
Have a wonderful night. <laughs> no, don't leave. <laughs> oh, sorry, Luke. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> every every question, just ask down there. I will I will comment all of your comments. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm still with you, if, even if I'm not here. All right. <laughs> I just need to eat. <laughs> he needs to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.